We begin with developing news concerning the Roderick Island Courthouse in Springfield, where dangerous mold has been a lingering problem. Welcome to Western Mass News at Noon. I'm David Horitz. This afternoon, we're learning more about a breach of contract filed against the Mass Trial Court following what was supposed to be a deep cleaning of the building over the holiday weekend. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live from outside the courthouse in Springfield with new details. Paris? David, attorneys announced this morning they have filed a breach of contract for two separate reasons. Now, one we first brought you yesterday, employees returned back to work inside the courthouse to see the results of what was supposed to be a deep clean, and they were disappointed. Pictures they shared with Western Mass News show some areas appear to not have been touched. Attorneys also say the trial court did not start the process to conduct an occupational health hazard study in the timely manner they were supposed to. Under an agreement reached in May, another breach of contract. Almost nothing has been done by the trial court on this point, and people who work in the building continue to get sick and die from various forms of cancer, while the trial court leaders from Boston continue to ignore their duties and responsibilities that they agreed to in writing. Now, the purpose of that study is to investigate who has experienced health issues and if those issues were caused by the toxic mold from inside the building. Attorneys say they had seven days from the settlement signing day to start the process. Now, to remind you, that was back on May 6th. And we've spoken with settlement coordinator, former Judge Don Payne, to learn what this will look like moving forward. We'll have more details tonight on Western Mass News. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.